Yo guys, before the video starts, I just wanted to announce that I have started an official subreddit. Go to the top link in the description to join the Top 10 Wrestling subreddit and get posting some memes, some stuff, or just anything that I will react to in future content. Thank you to user UFC Fingers who posted the top 10 greatest wrestlers of all time, uh, all of them being Rob Terry. Uh, but yeah, link in the description, hit the join button and get posting and let's get into the video. What's going on guys? It's Tom or Top 10 Wrestling and welcome back to another video on the channel. Boy, it's been a while. But today I'm going to be talking about one of the more popular women's wrestlers in the last couple of years in Impact. Maybe for the wrong reasons, but we're going to be looking at all five of Katie Forbes' Impact matches and reviewing them and talking about her run. Before we do get into it though, make sure to check out my Patreon, links down below. Also, only a small percentage of you watching these videos are subscribed, so if you do enjoy this video, feel free to subscribe, it's free, and you can always unsubscribe. Anyway, check out my Reddit as I said at the start of the video, and on to the video. Greetings and salutations, this is Almighty Christopher Daniels, sometimes known as the Fallen Angel, but always known as the greatest wrestler in the world, your mom's favorite wrestler, your dad's favorite wrestler, the world's favorite wrestler. I'm also a paragon of virtue, an inspiration of children everywhere, and the man with the rear that makes the girls cheer. And while you're watching me, I'm telling you, you're also watching Top 10 Wrestling, so congratulations. Katie Forbes' first appearance and match for Impact came at United We Stand 2019 in a four-way match for the Knockouts title. Rosemary, Katie Forbes, Jordan Grace and Knockouts champion Taya Valkyrie are all going at it. Jordan Grace looked so different only just two years ago. Still a star though. At the start, Rosemary gets teamed up on by all three of them and then is thrown out the ring. And then Katie and Taya try to double team Jordan Grace but fail. Taya and Katie are then left alone in the ring. They go at it until Katie is taken out by a stink face and running knees from Taya. And it's now Rosemary and Taya one on one. They go at it and then Taya is out and Jordan Grace gets back in for one on one between her and Rosemary. Is this really going to be the story of this match? Just constant one-on-one -on -one matches. Rosemary is taken out and Forbes gets back in and hits a scissors kick and some weird cartwheel thing. Taya hits a German on Katie and finally all four women are in the ring again and it's not just a one-on-one -on -one situation. Katie gets Taya in a fireman's carry and then Jordan hits a missile drop kick. Cool spot there and the four of them start clubbing each other. There are some cool moves and the match is actually starting to pick up a bit. Sue Young then comes out and Rosemary leaves the match to fight her. Grace hits the Grace Driver on Katie Forbes, but then Tyre steals the pin to win the match and retain the knockouts title. In the end, this match was actually alright. I'll give it to them. There were some really cool moments with it. When, when all four of them were in the ring, it was good. But when it was just the one-on-one -on -one matches constantly, I really wasn't feeling it. But decent in the end. Katie Forbes would re-debut for Impact Wrestling on the October 11th, 2019 episode of Impact, facing a big challenge as she is against Jordan Grace. And this match came about because Katie Forbes thought that Jordan Grace was a valet driver and asked her to park her car. The match starts off pretty technical, both locking in holds and doing these little sequences. It's a fairly slow match, but it's actually alright. And uh, oh yeah, there's also lots of twerking from Katie Forbes in this match. Grace gets Forbes in a <clears throat> wedgie and throws her into the post, hits double knees and forearm and the Vader bomb for a near fall. Very cool sequence there. Forbes then gets a near fall with a awesome tornado DDT, but Grace gets the win from the Grace driver. Again, not a bad match and a pretty decent performance from Katie Forbes. She's shocking me a bit here. But from here, she wouldn't have another Impact match for another year. This is because she was being used less as a wrestler and rather as a valet for her real life boyfriend, Rob Van Dam. And the two of them were involved in some very questionable segments. So much so that one of the segments they did got Impact banned from Twitch. And no, I'm not lying, they genuinely got banned from Twitch because of one of their segments. 
Here's hoping the images on screen don't get my video demonetized. In March 2020, herself and RVD would join the cancel culture stable along with Jake Crist and someone who shall not be named, and this stable obviously fell through fairly quickly, once again, because of who shall not be named. Anyway, back to the matches. Katie Forbes has three matches left in her Impact career, and spoilers, two of them are an explosion, and one of them is a battle royal. Anyway, next match. Match number three, Katie Forbes versus Kylie Ray from the June 6th, 2020 edition of Explosion. It honestly blows my mind that Explosion is still going on. Who the hell is watching it? Now that she is in the cancel culture stable, Katie Forbes is censored and she's no longer twerky, is that the word? Also, Kylie Ray and Katie Forbes have to be the two most contrasting wrestlers of all time. Kylie tries to get Katie to twerk, but that's the old Katie Forbes, and Katie has none of it. Kylie hits a super kick early, but Katie is able to roll out the ring. It's a pretty back and forth match, and honestly, a pretty decent match, and maybe one of my favorites of this video other than the Jordan Grace match, but I think it's kind of predictable who was going to win this match from the start. Katie goes for a submission, but gets caught, and Kylie locks in the smile to the finish, and Katie taps out for Kylie to win. Like I said, pretty decent stuff. Katie is really surprising me in his matches, I cannot lie. Next up, match number four. It's Katie Forbes' second and last pay-per-view match. And uh, yeah, let's talk about this one. It's Slammiversary. We have a 20 knockout number one contenders gauntlet battle royale, which, pss, that's just Impact's way of calling something a Royal Rumble without getting sued. We're not going to talk about the entire match, we're just going to talk about the parts that Katie Forbes is in. Katie Forbes comes out at number 7, being announced as being from Twerk City, and she's right back to being her old self, as by this point, cancel culture was scrapped. She comes down and takes everyone out, and then of course, twerks with Kiera Hogan before taking her out. Madison Rain comes up next, then Havoc comes out who clotheslines Katie, and then Tyre Valkyrie comes out. Tyre Valkyrie takes it to Katie Forbes and gets her in the corner, she throws her over the top rope onto the apron, then kicks her to eliminate her, which we don't even see because the camera is showing Alicia Edwards make her entrance, and commentary also don't even notice she's been eliminated. What a great elimination that was. Fifth and final match from the 29th of August 2020 episode of the Explosion, Katie Forbes versus Kimberly. This match starts off with Katie teaching Kimberly how to twerk because, of course, it does. Are we surprised at this point? She hits a stink face and a Bronco Buster on Kimber right out the gate. And I can't, I must say, this was a bit of a nothing match here, but that is kind of to be expected with a match on Explosion, which, you know, I don't even consider Explosion a B show or even a C show, even though Impact only has two shows. At one point, I actually thought Katie was going to win after she gets a near fall from a Samoan drop. Also, a very random note, but Matt Stryker and Don Callis are awful on commentary. They actually sound incredibly depressed, so if you guys need a talk, let me know. In the end, Kimberly gets the win with a Swanton Bomb. Probably the worst match of the five here, but again, it, it was better than I expected from Katie Forbes, to be honest. And that's basically it for her Impact career. She went 0-5, wrestled one match on TV and two matches on pay-per-view. And I actually think her in-ring ability is quite overlooked because she's actually pretty decent. Obviously, her gimmick and character vastly overshadow her in-ring work and her antics with RBD are obviously the main talking points of her Impact career. But overall, wasn't that bad. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, then be sure to hit that like button. I'm back. Better than ever. I'm not really better than ever, you know what? I, I, feel, I feel like I'm rusty at recording audio. I had to re-record this so many times because I just feel rusty. It's been so long since I've done this, but I've got plans for this year. Can't wait to release a bunch of videos. Comment video suggestions down below because I need them. But yeah, I'll see you all soon. Goodbye and keep on rolling. Oh, yeah, yeah.
Oh, 